How do you scare a mini truck? Do that to it. <laughs> oh, all right. So we're gonna put some uh, electronic air valves on this. I have a video explaining how these, how this, uh, how this goes together. There's a couple videos back from this one. Then I put one in all four corners. This is the original setup. Uh, some of you had asked about this loop right here. Basically, I just I had a line that went to the back, went up to here, another line that went out to the front. Well, I took and I made that loop right there so that I could go from here to there and then all the way up to the front to the gauge that's on the inside. So that's what that loop's doing there. And then we have another one here, which was originally for the other side of back here because there's two, two bags. There's two lines that came all the way to here. So that's what that is. I'm going to remove all of this. I'm going to remove the original setup with the uh, with the uh, paddle valves, or not the paddle valves, whatever those valves are. I'm losing all my wording today. I'm tired. Just got home. I've got today, today and tomorrow to finish up what we're going to do. Today is Thursday. We got tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday we go to a car show in Conway. It's the uh, Motorsports Authority. As you can see, I'm all rough cut. Uh, that'll fix over the next couple videos because I got to get ready. All right, let's get started on these. Jack your truck up, and uh, for this, I got to remove all of this. Well, just the airlines, and then the uh, the original manifold, and the air tank, and I'll end up removing that. I got to build a switch box. And I gotta clean this up now because this it's time to clean up this mess. Get all the rehosing of the front set up and it's gonna be a lot of work. So let's get started. Follow me here. Can you grab that right there? Well, I got all the air management taken off my truck. And yeah, now can you see it? <laughs> 10% chance of rain today. 10%. Wonderful. Well, we're going to take this time and go to the store. A couple things that I need from the store, so uh, we're going to utilize the time. So maybe when I uh, get back on, hopefully it'll be not raining because this has to be done before the end of tomorrow. All right, stopped raining. Ground's still a little bit wet. And I never went to the store. We ended up watching a movie. <laughs> so anyway, I've got these two mounted up. I wanted to go ahead and mount those so that you guys can see everything in action. I've got it hooked up to shop air right now. Which shop air only goes up to about 130 PSI. Uh, the tank goes up to uh, 125 PSI. So there's not going to be much difference in the way that this moves. And remember, you have these. You have two wires. These, I hooked them up either way. So you can, as far as I'm concerned, you can hook these up either way. One being the ground, one being the positive. Whichever color you decide. I decided blue was going to be my negative and yellow is going to be my power because it's brighter. Um, what I did, I don't know if you can see in here. Well, right there, I have one ground. And that ground connects to both blue wires on this side. Okay, then I have the same thing on that side, both blue wires connect to a ground right up in there right there so that grounds both sides and allows this to work then all you got to do is run your power power has to go to a switch so you got one two three four individual wires like I said I'm using lamp wire because it's tough it's durable you run over it with your vacuum you run over it with all kinds of different stuff and these only carry a minute current for a short period of time and this is really cheap to buy lamp wire. So you use both sides for one of the valves, both sides for one valve. So you got four right here all together. And all I did was I ran them out here up to the battery. That way I can show you guys how this is gonna move with quarter inch valves. I'm gonna have to get my wife over here to hold it for me so you guys can see that. Smile. <laughs> Are you not going to talk? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Oh, in case you guys are wondering. 
I was told that we never put each other right next to each other. So this is us standing. Get, stand up. Okay, so this is how much, well, right there. That's how much taller I am than my wife. And I'm kind of slouching because I'm fat. All right, ready? Are you gonna talk? Yes, I am ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. get back far enough so that you can see the whole rear of the truck. What I'm doing is I'm doing both up and then both down. I don't really have a, I'm, it'll have left and right, but the way the suspension is set up, it, it's not gonna do too much side to side. That's beyond full lift. Put it right there like that. Aim it straight so, so so that you can see the truck, and then don't and then don't move it up and down. All right. So that's both sides. Up and down. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. The way that I have the airlines ran is there's one airline that comes in to a center point here. Then I guide it into this valve over here for the up and that valve over there for the up. And then, like I said, I've already explained how these work. So one airline goes into the back, and that's why. It runs about as slow as it does. The front may go a little bit slower because there's more weight, but that's going to be the gist of how this all goes together. I'll do one more video after I get the front end done because the front end, all you do is the same thing. You run an airline into the front, you split it between a, a left valve uh, manifold and a right valve manifold, and then you uh, wire them up the same as we've done the back and then the front will work the same. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set that up now and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Hopefully, which won't be too long. So here we go. All right, this is where I decided to put them. I got one right there, one right there. I ran all the wiring. Make sure you zip tie everything and make sure everything's secure because a line that's bouncing and wiggling will wear itself away over time. I got this straightened up like I said I was going to. So now I've got wire loom covering everything. Um, all the airlines and everything that come down into here, those are all zip tied in, so nothing's going to move. Back here, I went ahead and and uh, I added some vacuum line to this because it's going to be on this metal, so it's going to be vibrating on that all the time. Well, I don't want my airline to get messed up. So, like I said, when putting things together, make sure that it's set up properly. So that you don't wear down um, I've got this set up at an angle now because I was told that if moisture gets down into here it can mess up the uh, the uh, pressure sensor this is just a straight shot now it goes from the air tank straight into this uh, this valve here so I can turn it on and off if I want to and then it goes through to the T and then right there and then it splits one goes to the front one goes to the back and then it splits right between the valves so that I can use those and the same thing up here. Um, I got another video that I uploading up probably right after this one or right before this one. I'm not sure yet. But I made me a switch box. This my wife got for cheap and I went ahead and put switches in it and everything works. These are all my ups. These are all my downs. I've got them bent because... I drilled them crooked, but I'm going to tell everybody that it's ergonomically set up for my hand. See? But no, I'll tell everybody that I screwed up. So there we go. See, and I got a yellow line on that, so it's real long. I'm going to actually run it underneath the seat and bring it out straight through the middle so it'll sit right there. That way I can use it all the time. 
All right, enough talk. Uh, yeah. No, you. Oh. Okay, so she's getting pink hair. And she's mad at me now. All right, here we go. They want to see how the truck moves up and down. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and show them. If I can get out of the right. sun. I believe I have here. Stand over there and get the whole truck. We'll try and finish this off right quick. Stand, sit in here. Now these are quarter inch valves. Got my switches right here so I can raise the back up. There's the back. Here's the front. Hey, it don't take very long for it to go up. I'm already at right height here. I'll go ahead and bring it up a little bit more. That's pretty much full lift on my truck. Right there. It don't get no higher than that. That's too much lift. All right, let's go ahead and lay it out. There we go. That's all the way up and all the way down. So, oh, it's just little, so I gotta get down here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Go out and put some electronic valves on your trucks now that you know how. Um, I've got a video for how I made the electronic valves, how, how I put that manifold together. I've got another video how I did my uh, switch box. So please uh, go and watch that one so, I, so you know how to put that together. And then now how to put your valves on. Leave a comment down at the bottom if you think I've missed anything. If you think somebody else can benefit from something that you know that I didn't say, please let them know. Uh, give me some thumbs up for finally getting some electronic valves. Now I can play with it. If I want to. <laughs> and uh, one more thumb up for my wife. Oh, God. Because <laughs> she's putting pink in her hair. Well, it looks a little bit more now. I love you. Um, you telling me or them? You. Oh. I don't know them. Him? That, yeah. Him. Him? Over here, him? Yeah. Later, guys.